crafters. Today I'm going to make octagonal Moroccan tables out of cardboard. First, I'm going to show you how to draw a simple octagon shape. Of course, you can do it easier with a printer. But if you don't have one, this is what you can do. as the tabletop pattern then use it to make these two pieces of cardboard hot glue them together by choosing the ugly side of the cardboard to put the glue on now the tabletop has a nice thickness that I wanted then cut any paper into two centimeters wide to be a ruler we're going to mark where the table legs will be. Then, let's make the legs pattern. You can draw a simple Morgan gate like this. Or maybe something scurvier like this. It's really up to you. You don't have to be a professional drawer. As long as it's a symmetrical shape, it will be nice. Then, use the pattern to make these pieces of cardboard. To cut the curvy line, I recommend you to use cutter pen. It's quite tricky to cut this small detail with big cutter. Now, make it 8. Okay, this is where the legs will be. Let's put them all together with hot glue. And then continue to put the legs on these parts first. And then continue to the last four legs. See? It's gonna be easier. Okay, continue the rest. It looks like it's almost finished but it's not. This table has a lot of detail works. Let's continue to style number one. Breast table with embossed texture. As the brass color, we need to cover all the surface of the table with a thick gold paper. This is how I do it. Even though this paper is not as thick as the cardboard, I still recommend you to use cutter pen to cut this paper. Look how easy it is. And it's not gonna end this nice if you're using scissors. To cover this side, you need to remeasure it first. Mine is 9mm. It could be different with your cardboard size. And then to cover this side, since I don't have any thin gold paper, this thin brown paper will do. Okay, let's put them all together with white glue and a brush.
Let's do the fun thing with these plastic stencil sheets. You can find it easily online at craft stores. First, you need to position the sheet on the tabletop and secure it with paper tape. Then, use any hard pencil or a pen that doesn't work anymore to draw the texture. This is so much fun! Okay, are you ready to see the magic? Voila! You can make any design you like. Let's continue to the other side. Maybe here, here, mm, here, uh, here. Maybe some other shape like here. And then let's see what happened next. Do you like it? Okay, let's continue to style number two. A wooden table with colorful painting. The first steps are just the same, but I'm using a little brown paper instead of gold to cover some of the surface. It's actually much easier than the gold one. Okay, we're done. Because I'm happy enough with the natural color of the cardboard. I'm just gonna leave it that way. Okay, place the stencil sheets and secure it only with paper tape. Then we're gonna do the fun part with colorful markers. This is it. This is so satisfying. Then, let's continue it with any design you like. So, which one do you like? Now, this is a little bonus video about how to make a simple floor pillow just to complete the table. Let's just make it fast.
watching. I hope you like my videos and please leave your comment down below to tell me what else do you want me to make and see you in my other videos. Bye!